Ladies and gentlemen, my presentation is on above the line advertising in health communication for the prevention and control of COVID-19, the Sri Lankan experience. So above the line advertising consists of advertising that is largely non-targeted and having a wide reach through modalities such as television, radio, and press. So these are the traditional modes of health communication or advertising. So television is the main source of information for Sri Lankans with a regular viewership of 84% of the population while the figures for radio is 41% and for uh, press it is 40%. This is according to the National Demographic and Media Survey of 2019. As you are aware, media consumption increased globally and locally during the COVID-19 pandemic significantly. Therefore, uh, the Ministry of Health used this as an opportunity to develop a social marketing campaign to communicate the key practices pertaining to prevention and control of COVID-19. So the Ministry of Health uh, developed creative materials with the support of a creative agency uh, and through expert consultations uh, in uh, persons who are experts in health communication. There were two main themes identified, Vagakiyamu, which promoted institutional responsibility, and Mitra Njivite, which targeted the general public to increase the awareness on COVID prevention mechanisms. There were eight different television and radio commercials with each carrying a very specific message pertaining to COVID-19, which was developed. And these were developed in all three languages, which are used in Sri Lanka. Press advertisements were developed based on the TV commercials. Thereafter, a comprehensive media placement plan was developed for a six week campaign to reach all different demographic target groups. The media consumption patterns were analyzed in great detail to identify how best to place these advertisements to achieve uh, a higher reach and to achieve to reach the most important target audiences. Negotiations were conducted with media agencies, considering that this was a campaign of national importance, and the Ministry of Health was able to obtain best return on investment and cost savings. Moving on to the results, the campaign was conducted uh, from 29 September onwards for a period of six weeks, and this coincided with the second wave of COVID-19 in Sri Lanka. When it comes to television, we placed over 6,000 advertisements across 12 television channels. And at the beginning of the campaign, we targeted the long duration commercials. As the message was established, we moved on to shorter duration commercials. The return on investment that was received for the ministry was 711% as we received a lot of commercials free of charge. Plus we received a lot of discussions uh, and supportive uh, things such as brake bumpers, opening and closing billboards on television programs. On radio, we placed the advertisements on 11 channels with total number of uh, commercials exceeding 5,000. And again, we received discussions and DJ end endorsements free of charge from the media agencies. The overall return on investment was 681%. On press, we placed advertisements across 18 newspapers and the return on investment was 135%. So overall, the investment was broken as 70% to television, 20% to radio, and 10% on press. The reach and the frequency on television, which was achieved, was 68% at 4+. plus. That means we managed to reach 68% of the population, and each of them would have seen the advertisement at least four times. So that was a very good achievement considering the overall program. So in conclusion, uh, properly planned and executed mass media plans are effective in reaching the general public and considering the national importance of COVID-19 prevention and especially uh, when it comes to healthcare uh, related endorsements, uh, we can negotiate with media agencies to obtain the best rates. Thank you.